I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director at House of Bond. I've been in the design industry for over 10 years. I decided to do a entire series around my own personal home renovation. Welcome to my home. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to episode three of Bonafide. standing over there. He doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Marty, this is my husband, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi, I'm super excited because today we are going to do a walkthrough of Midland Appliances. I'm here with Marty. You guys are meeting him the first time. So he's our go-to guy when it comes to appliance shopping. We I love Marty. We talk to him all the time. <laughs> We've got a whole bunch of projects on the go and we're going to link Marty's information in the, the description box below. So if any one of you guys are ever in Vancouver and you're shopping for appliances, you'll be able to find Marty really easily. Perfect. Before we get started, we just have to say we hit very quickly um, a thousand subscribers. It's been growing super, super fast, like really, really fast. We're about to hit a hundred thousand views soon so there's been tons of traction so i just want to thank you guys so much so let's get right. started okay perfect yeah. um i'm almost like there's so much to look at here yeah. wait is there any way we can get a coffee absolutely <laughs> do you, you want a coffee system that? for the house <laughs> <laughs> So what do we got here? Okay, so the importance of today and picking our appliances, like I really want to use the time to actually pick our appliances today because we need to know the sizes of all of our appliances, what we're going to use so that I can continue planning the kitchen and so that I can have my team start to draft up all the millwork, which we can't do until we actually know what our appliances are. So I like to shop for appliances as like one of the first stops on a renovation project and also so that we can budget. Yeah. the job because obviously the appliance package is going to be a big part of our budget so we're going to work through that a little yeah. bit as well I mean in all honesty I think we were gravitating to the specs that were in this package yeah mm -hmm. okay. but we liked well, the price of this package more <laughs> <laughs> well we'll, uh, we'll look we at what you really want first yeah, we and don't then we'll get into that yeah okay. totally pricing won't be the focus for today yeah we've talked about wanting a fridge. We need a bigger fridge um, okay. for all of Chris's condiments. <laughs> He's a condiment guy. All right. And I don't think we've decided that yet whether we want to have stainless steel or whether we're going to do a built-in kitchen. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Panel everything. Do you yeah. want to panel everything? Uh, I'm not sure. Just to you know start on that point. You know, depending on what type of fridge you want. Is this in the showroom as well? It is. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So we can look at both of them. So these are both. That's counter what I love ones. about this Midland location in Richmond is that you have so much on display yeah. that it's really easy to pick your appliances. So now we don't always have everything, but we have yeah. <laughs> enough that you can get a very good sense of yeah, everything. Yeah, totally. Okay, honey, the yeah, fridges, the fridges are all you. So you you have you have say all when right. it when it comes to the fridge. <laughs> so over here is where we have most of our fridges. So you can't panel this one. No. Anything that you see built into cabinets can have panels. You can see it's not built in. They won't take panels. The one thing for me, the freezer, I like to know that there's quite a bit of depth so you can fit a pizza box and a birthday cake. Not that we have kids or anything, but so my birthday cake. <laughs> if you want that, then the question is, do you want that depth in your freezer or do you want that design of counter depth refrigerator, right? Because the, the fridges we are looking at are counter depth. And so the one big thing that you do lose in going counter depth, yes. which is includes all built in oh, yeah. fridges, yeah. is that space to put in like that pizza box, for instance, yeah. or that cake. That's the one consideration. See, this for is why fridge. it's important to think about your lifestyle, because if you've got kids and you do a whole bunch of Costco shopping and stuff like that, you're going to want a bigger, deeper fridge. 
Why don't we start with that fridge deck? Before you go too far, what I don't like from a design perspective, personally, I don't like the integrated handle. Integrated handles, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, but I do like this. Yeah. You know, a you smart can link fridge. Your, they even Isn't do it with that your what other you Yeah, I did like the, the smart fridges for sure. This is the fridge that you saw in that package there. So you'll see this one isn't as deep. And here in particular, right? So that's where the, the challenge with counter depth is. Yeah, you might, you can probably squeeze a pizza box in at the bottom there. Okay. But that, that would be your only option for fitting something bigger. I mean, I don't right. know why I actually said that because we don't actually buy a lot of pizza, frozen Never. pizza. Okay, your birthday <laughs> cake then. Never. Make sure your birthday cake's only this big then. How about yeah. that? This is actually one of my favorite, favorite brands. I love how square this is. Yeah. I like that there's room for all your condiments. You <laughs> could fit a pizza box in here. <laughs> yeah, I really love the design, the overall design of these. So for the audience, this would be the difference of a paneled appliance. This is just a white, nice white panel versus an exposed stainless appliance piece where you actually see the stainless steel. So the nice thing about paneling is that you can match it perfectly to your cabinetry and then all of your appliances yeah. just kind of hide. Um, but some people really like the look of actually being able to see the stainless steel too. Just kind of depends on the design. Yeah, it's a true preference, uh, yeah. preference setup. Okay, and just to cool. give you an idea, we have the panel ready here. So it's the same oh, nice. fridge, but with the panels on it. So then you can have whatever design you want with that one. So this is a brand new piece, actually. Um, Holy mother yeah. of <laughs> so this is side refrigeration. By side. This is two fridges. So, okay. okay. So, this is so, one sorry. of them. <laughs> this yes. is. This is the fridge. <laughs> yeah. You'll notice the, the nice finishing work that they've done with this. Glass shelving, stainless steel shelving in the freezer. That keeps it colder. Okay, I think that's a good option. Yeah, okay. they have a nice and clean look as well. Nice and tall. I, I like that. Yeah. Because the cabinet that people, that goes above the fridge, that's like the junk cabinet. You yeah, know, it's the absolutely. stuff that you never ever access. Yeah. Do you like the size? I do, yeah. yeah? I love the uh, extra height on it as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. they've done a very good job. Because you're tall. Yeah. You I, I don't think I will yeah. be able to get anything out of the back. Yeah, exactly, you've got four <laughs> teals on right now. I cook like this. <laughs> well, that's why the bottom shelf is your shelf. <laughs> This actually is not a bad option to do two side by side. And it is smaller. It's you know what, this is a great fridge. idea. Cabinet that I was just talking about. Right integrated with the, the fridge door. Yeah. Very smart, Midland yeah. appliances, very oh, smart. One drawback is everything's in drawers and you lose a little bit of that usable space. You could fit a pizza slice, not a pizza box. And uh, range, obviously. Yeah. And then we were looking at the induction cooktops, but we're unsure on whether or not we want induction or gas. Yeah. Most people have that exact same reaction. Induction <laughs> is definitely the future of cooking. Yeah. Uh, it is the current trend of cooking. So this is Blomberg's new induction range. Okay, is this the one that you had put in our package? Yeah. Those of you who don't know, range is your full, you've got your cooktop and you've got your oven built in. So that's what technically you, we'd call a range. Yeah. A cooktop is when you have cooktop only, which is fairly new ish in the market fairly new so you would do a cooktop and your wall ovens so that's the difference between a cooktop and a range so. more and more we're designing kitchens that have wall ovens just because the accessibility it's a yeah. lot more comfortable yeah. instead of having to reach down and pull out your cupcakes because we're all Martha Stewart's these days you can just use a wall oven and do that yeah let's see all it. right let's go do a, a little look at induction cooking we're gonna go and do a little steam off this is where we do our cooking down okay and this is where we answer these yeah. questions about induction yeah and turn those non-believers into believers okay you so, ready for this just for, i'm a non-believer i will i mean you're on the fence i'm on the fence so all you got to do is you just turn it on here or this little knob that you can Oh, no way, so cool. You guys seeing this? So cool. It's just like, a little magnet. So that one's on. So now I'm just scrolling up to the highest setting. Of 15. And you know what? It actually, you can... Ooh. Yep, don't worry. Can you worry. hear that? Again, it's the safest type of cooking. Okay, so yeah, no. You're okay. <laughs> so what induction is actually doing is it's using 
uh, like magnets essentially in the cooktop so to cool. heat up the pan instead of the cooktop itself. Yeah. So all your heat is actually coming from the pan. So we're already getting close to a boil here. So wow, that's, that was that's the fast. big advantage is that you know you can get water to a boil in no time at all. The other nice thing is that okay, you you want to turn it off. Well, we'll just turn it right off here. It wow. will dissipate instantly. And then we take this off, and your pan will be hot. But what? I can touch here. Yeah. Now, it's, it's still it's warm, warm, but uh, wow. yeah, it, it cools down pretty much instantly. What's great about this for us is we don't actually have a gas range right now. So right. we have we have a gas fireplace, so there is gas. Yeah. But we have an electric range, so this yeah. obviously we can now, just plug I, I in. I mean, induction cooktops generally call for uh, a higher electrical draw yeah. than <clears throat> electric. Makes sense. Do you like the gas or the induction? No, I do like the induction. Yeah. Converted click. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the question is, are you a believer? I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I, 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 I am now. I'm Perfect. a believer now. And then washer dryer. Most of the large washer dryers are all the same size. Yeah. Now, aren't they? Yeah, so like, you have two options for size essentially. Two main ones there's compact or full size laundry. Okay, we definitely want full size. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know why we do so much laundry, but we're constantly doing laundry. It's we mostly, are going to do stackers. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still going to be dictated largely by depth. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're bringing up that point because that is what we're finding is often a design flaw. We found plans where there hasn't been enough space that's accounted for the depth of a washer dryer. Yes. So this is one of the appliances that's essential that you check that because you also need the room space for the plumbing in the back. Yeah. So a lot of people, they only make an allowance for that much without realizing that you need a shut off. Yeah. behind and then what ends up happening is your washer dryer sticks out of the closet or there isn't enough room. Now yeah. the only other thing to consider is when you're stacking them is the height. So your controls cool. are always going to be at the top. This is a steamer. Yeah. A clothes steamer. Nice. You can throw your hockey gear or whatever athletic gear in there, steam away, oh, clean it all out oh. and uh, <laughs> get rid of some of those smells. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you might need two. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, th this is the only other thing to consider with, with stacking is yeah. that uh, you do have the, the height uh, the height of the top controls on your dryer. The ones that are in our package. We looked at think... both the Samsung and the LG. Okay. Yeah. Just want to look at them really quickly. So with this, you know, you're getting all your standard features plus a few added ones. Okay. This one's not going to have all your steam cycles and, and all of the... I don't think I we... do like the steam cycle. Oh, we do need that. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. We need... This one, again, wouldn't have the steam, but we could do steam. In, in that yeah. version. Beer fridge? <laughs> <laughs> beer, not exactly. wine, right? Is that what we're dealing uh, with? Oh, or beer well, and wine. Beer and wine. A beer, uh, a, yeah, okay. a beer and wine fridge, I yeah. guess. A little under counter Like one. A, bar, exactly. a bar fridge. Yes. Okay. Beer, bar fridge. Oh, that's nice. Beer on one side, yeah. wine on the other. Is totally. that kind of the idea? Oh, that you yeah, have great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. So that way everybody's happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But see, this is what I want to do, a little bar like this. Mm -hmm. And then I want to have glassware and all of our bar gear mm -hmm. and and then booze everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> a room of booze. A room of booze. I think this is the one. Yeah. This is the one. Mm -hmm. We will buy this one. Okay. Yeah. And microwave. What I really wanted the drawer microwave. Yeah. But I know that's expensive. Uh, yeah. The. It's uh, a, the drawers are certainly more expensive than, you know, a standard microwave. Like a regular microwave. microwave. With... Hein, what do you think of this? So when you open, see this to me, I really like if it's going in an island. So you can just put your, I mean, it's not going to be this low. This is just for a display. But, but it is a much better application for an island setup. Yeah. Because if you're putting a standard microwave in an island, you know, you're still having to have that side swing opening at yeah. about this height, right? Exactly. So. Which is not the end of the world, because I know that there is a little bit of a cost difference between a drawer microwave and a regular microwave, but me personally, I really love the drawer microwaves. And then all the controls are just hidden. Okay. It's so much information. It's almost like a little bit overwhelming because there's so much to look at, which is why it's great that you're here. I get a pretty good sense of what you guys like. Yeah. You guys get a pretty good sense of what we have. And then we can start working towards... Putting together a package. Throwing together, yeah, exactly yeah. what's going to work best for you. 
within your budget yeah. and, and give you that, that true design that you really want, totally. that every feature set that you could possibly yeah. Which is perfect. That's exactly the way that we would work with a client is help them put a package together and then we would actually say, okay, now take this package, go down to Midland, take a look at the appliances, touch, feel them, make sure that you're happy with them, that you really love them. Talk to Marty. If you want to change anything, no problem. But it's nice to have someone to kind of help you, guide you in a direction because there's so much on the market to choose from. What I'm noticing is that the standard just keeps going up and up and up. Yeah, almost so, on a monthly basis. I, it's um, crazy right and, now. You know, and in, in most cases, they have that same mindset that you have yeah. of the potential flip and this, this idea of how do we package things both for user-friendly aspects, but also uh, to, to be yeah. sold. That's exactly what we want, is to have an appliance package that doesn't cost too much. That <laughs> yeah, also has a wider appeal, for sure. And, but yeah. that has an appeal. When you're looking at that resale potential, yeah, doing something like this is, is quite nice, because you know, you've got your Fisher & Paykel fridge, you've got your Fisher & Paykel uh, range. I know. Uh, Fisher & Paykel. Dishwasher totally. and fan. You You're speaking to my this. language right yeah. now. You That's... have a complete Fisher and Paykel kitchen. Yeah. Or complete Fisher and Paykel built-in kitchen. Totally. Or integrated totally. kitchen. I love that too. Is being able to utilize one brand as much as possible in a kitchen, and even throughout your house. But as much as possible, that way you have all of your appliances look the same. Um, if you were to do a Fisher and Paykel dishwasher and then pair that with a Samsung fridge for example then you've got all these different handles yeah. sometimes the stainless doesn't read the same so I prefer doing an, a package from one supplier as yeah. much as possible I'm really liking the Fisher Paykel stuff Great I, oh, I always have I always yeah. have and seeing it again I'm just like I'm really really loving it yeah. that's how we always do this is that we always want our clients to come in and take a look yeah. Because you really don't know what you're getting until you walk through the whole process with for us. For sure. Totally. And let us help you build that yeah, for you. Yeah, right? the perfect package. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that would be next steps then, is we'll price out a Fisher Paykel package. Okay. What's the verdict? Are we going induction? Definitely. We are? I think so. Okay. Good. Decision's been made. <laughs> Decision <laughs> has been made. Totally. <laughs> Marty, thank you so much. Well, thank this you for coming in. This has been awesome. That's it for today's episode. Uh, stay tuned because the next one, we're going to do a design episode in the office. We're going to look at new space plans and a whole bunch of finishes. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that so you don't miss a single episode. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Bye for now, you guys. Bye. Oh, coffee. Yeah, totally. Um... He's latte. Yeah, I was gonna put some cream and sugar in that. Is that? Yeah, one like a half cube of sugar and like two big creams. <laughs> I am so excited that we just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and in fact, it's almost at 1,100 now, so it's growing super, super fast. Cheers, team! Woo! Cheers to a thousand! Woo! Oh, bottoms up. Oh God. Okay. That was quick. I'm not even done. Do it. <laughs> I'm not even started.